Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm a textile artist and designer. I'm from Patagonia, Argentina, and I'm based in London at the moment. I create sculptural textile lighting and decoration pieces. Um, I use natural fibers combined with LED and what I try to create is an atmosphere where people can feel uh, cozy at home and can like enjoy a warm environment. Um, I grew up in a tiny village in Patagonia in the north part and I've been always surrounded by nature. Uh, all this vast uh, desert of uh, Patagonia has given me uh, a lot of peace during my childhood. And when I grew up and I studied uh, design first and then I did a MA on textiles in London, I started getting interest about ancestral textile communities and the wisdom that they have. Um, so that took me to all the Indian region uh, to explore the different communities and their craft. Um, so from there I started shaping my practice and I understood the importance of uh, being connected to, to nature. One of the things that I've been always curious about was um, the fact that nowadays we are disconnected from ourselves and from what is happening around us. And I discovered that in ancestral textile techniques uh, around the world, people were very aware of uh, what was going on with the others as part of a community and with nature. So through my pieces, I'm trying to bring back that knowledge and um, create new environments for people to reflect about this. Uh, my biggest influences are, of course, textile designers. I love the work of uh, Cecilia Vicuña. She's a Chilean artist that has been exploring also the hidden meanings of um, different techniques, using them for a more political uh, approach in her art. Um, I'm also uh, inspired by different designers around the world where the aim is to provide, uh, through lighting, a nice or new environment. I also love the work of Sheila Hicks, um, she creates big um, textile installations and she has always been inspired by um, Latin American communities. I love the way that she uses the fibers and how by creating big pieces she can talk to the public um, about this, this uh, ancestral wisdom. Right now I'm focusing on creating new uh, pieces and I'm exploring some communities from Patagonia and I'm trying to combine uh, more natural materials. I use not just my uh, fibers, which is either cotton or wool, but uh, I combine it with different sorts of um, wood or metals or uh, concrete. So at the moment, I'm exploring the metal part uh, to create uh, different pieces for the new year. And yeah, and I'm trying to, to research more about the, the legacy of different crafts. I believe that one of the biggest challenges for, of being an artist is to um, keep going and believe that your art has something to say. Um, sometimes in a world where not always art is value for its content or its meaning, uh, as an artist you ask yourself, what am I doing? What am I saying? Uh, is that the right thing? Um, but I, I, I'm a believer of social art and social design and I believe that when we have something to say, something that is bringing 
uh, even if it's the tiniest thing back to community, is worth trying and and create. The advice I, I will give to my younger self is um, things take time. Things take time and you, you need a lot of research, a lot of experiences to shape your own personality. Um, share more, create more, draw more, um, talk more to people. I think uh, at the beginning I was... Uh, had big expectations for big things to happen very quick and um, it takes longer it takes longer but the the journey is part of the creation and of the artist's personality I always try different techniques I am self-taught um, artist so basically anytime that I see something that I like I try to learn. So at the moment I'm trying um, Indian knotting, uh, which is a really nice technique, and I'm trying to twist it a bit uh, because the main thing in my practice is to recover ancestral techniques but make them more contemporary, more modern, so I can talk to the people on this uh, new environment uh, because I believe that we need to translate ancestral knowledge into something more modern to approach more people and to preserve these techniques. I listen to music all the time. Um, music is a reflection of my mood most of the time, so uh, I try to use it to either um, get more energy or relax or Depending on the day, I change the music and I hear a lot of um, Indian uh, music as well when I'm creating so I can get in the mood. I think best reactions towards my work has always been the engagement from the people. Um, when I did my first uh, exhibition in Clerkenwell, uh, I love the fact that people came to my pieces and touched them. I know that nowadays it's not very common that you're allowed to touch pieces. And at first I wasn't sure if that was what I was looking for. But uh, to create something that is tactile and that attracts people and involve all the, their five senses, the smell of the fibers being hit up by the light and... Um, the the texture um, is something that I really like and once uh, that I was exhibiting in Milan someone came and she was like this is magic and that for me was one of the most important things uh, I like to create magic even if it's for just a second uh, that's that's something that makes me very happy and that's probably what I expect uh, or hope for people to take away from my artwork. It's like at least one moment of like beauty, uh, enjoyment, um, feeling connected, feeling like amazed, feeling that things are okay. Um, I think that's that's the most rewarding thing for me. Now I'm uh, wrapping up this 2023 and I'm going to be creating more pieces from January. Hopefully I'll see you in Milan for the design week and you can always uh, come to my studio at Copied Arts in Bloomsbury and you can follow me on Instagram at Cindy Leland. Uh, sorry, cindy.lilen.studio uh, or visit my website, cindylilen.com. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this. <laughs>